that's the test of the Beholder DS1 3SS gimbal. Okay, let's see the gimbal button screw. Okay, that's all. Oh, that's the arm for the pitch model. You can see the arm. It's adjustable. You can pull out and pull in. When you pull out, okay, that's for the heavy camera, Canon 5D3. Yes, that's very important. Small camera, you need to pull in because the weight balance go up. That's for small camera. Big camera, Canon 5D3, we must pull down. Yes, that's very, very important for the big camera. Okay, that's the important point. Okay. Let's adjust the loading model. Yes. Okay. That's the loading model arm. It's adjustable. You can see. Yes. Pull out, pull in. Then tie the screw. Okay. Now we ch check the yaw position model. It's two side screw. Okay, let's pull out the arm, pull in. That's for yaw balance. Very, very important model. Okay, now let's put the camera into Canon 5D3 with the 28 millimeter lens. Okay, let's pull in. Okay, pull in. Let's lose the bottom screw. Uh, yes, yeah, that's the screw in the, attached to the okay put inside let's adjust the balance of the pitch model yeah pitch pitch side okay pitch balanced you can see now the camera almost balanced that's great then we tie the screw yeah bottom screw we tied when pitch down we can tie the bottom screw okay Now we adjust the rolling balance. You can see the left side is heavy. Then we lose the screw, bottom, top side and bottom side. Take out, pull out some the arm. That's the rolling model arm. Okay, you can see we we'll pull out some. Right now the camera looks okay. It's almost balanced. Very good. Now we can tighten the rolling model to screw. Okay, need to tie. Now the rolling side is balanced. Right now we adjust the yaw balance. Very important. Okay, wait a moment. Let's move. Okay. Now it's not balanced. You can see the whole camera need to go left. Right side is heavy. Okay, so we lose the screw of the rolling model. First, you can we lose. Okay, then we pull out, pull out the arm, then tie it. Okay, recheck the recheck the yaw balance. Still heavy, still heavy some. Yeah, let's check again. Okay. Let's lose the school little, okay. We still need to adjust. Okay, you, we adjust uh, the yaw balance now. You can see the video. Okay, the whole weight CG go forward. We need to move the arm, the yaw arm, pull out some and then let the CG go back. Okay, let's lose the two screw of the yaw model. You can see the arm we pull out. That's a detail, very important point. Okay, we pull out the arm. Now you can see the CG almost okay. Yes, you can see the whole gimbal, yaw balance almost done. That's very, very important. Okay, let's. Let's start the gimbal now. Okay. 
the gimbal works great now. The yaw balanced, the whole gimbal work great. Very smooth, very smooth. Okay, change the position. The gimbal still works okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now fine, done. Okay, uh, now that this video introduce what's the balance. Okay, you can see now we see the more uh, the, the rolling uh, the pitch model. You can see the camera can stay in any position. It means balanced in pitch side. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, now we are just the, the rolling position. You can see the camera can stay in any position. That means rolling balanced. You can see. A lot of people they, they don't know what's the balance for the pitch and the rolling. This video introduced. Thank you. Okay. Which screw we need to tie? You can see the camera are balanced, but we need to tie the, the Bolton school. You can see this school. Yes, that's the school connect to the camera. We need to tie the school. That's very important. Yes. Okay, now the camera is balanced. Pitch, rolling, and yaw all balanced. Before we use the gimbal, we need to tie the school again. That's the school in the bottom side, very important, the silver screw. Okay, let's use a screwdriver. Yes, tie the screw. That's very important. A lot of vibration come from this screw because this screw loose, that's no good for the gimbal. Okay, when the customer, you finish, you want to take out the camera from the gimbal, you need to loose this screw too. Then you can easily take out the, the camera. Okay, that's easy, right?